So if you ever run into this, I mean, put your Romex around a corner and you're stuck, you're like, how do I get around there? I'm going to show you now. He's like, I'm just going to eyeball it and explain it to you. We're going to drill straight through the center of the stud. Code says that you have to be within an inch and a quarter or beyond an inch and a quarter of the edge of the stud so that drywall screws don't hit your wire. So we'll go to the center of that, to the center of this uh, stud. Now we don't need to go real far in, we'll just, if, if this were the actual outside of the house, we'd be piercing on the outside of the house, we don't want to do that. So we're going to go in, this is like an inch and a half, so we'll go in three, four inches. You could put a piece of tape, like four inches or so, around your blade, and then, or your bit, and then see how far to go, but it's not real crucial. This has two studs behind it, right here, so it, it's solid. So here we go, here's my first, my first hole, here we go. We have our first hole, went in a few inches, a little rough, my bit's dull. Don't get mad at me, just, I'm just doing videos for you guys here, so. <laughs> Maybe after, I think you get a nickel for every 100,000 views, so keep watching. <laughs> All right, so next we drill around the other side, right directly into it. We came out here, so we're gonna drill right into it. So we're gonna kind of create a 90 degree angle in the inside, okay? I'm pretty much parallel with this other hole here. So we're just going to drill in again, but this, we're only going to go this depth here. So again, I don't know, two inches or so, two and a half inches. Let's give it a try. Now, I don't know if you can hear that. I kind of broke through. I know that I hit that other hole that came on the other side. So now I know that it goes through like at a 90 degree angle. Now I'm going to show you the first step. This first one's an easy one. You don't really need any technique or tools, maybe something you just didn't know. So stand by, here we go. Since we know that it's a 90 degree angle, so the only thing that I would do, I'd take my Romex and I'd bend it approximately, how that hole would look in there. Just bend it, and as I'm pushing it through, it'll bend out and bend out and come through the other side. I mean, it's, 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 it takes minimal effort, so I'm just gonna stick it in there, it's, it's bent, and I'll get it sooner or later. Here it comes. Look at that. I didn't need any needle nose pliers or anything. That literally took 30 seconds. Push on it and pull at the same time because you push it, it's just going to bind up and push against the other piece of wood. Pull and push at the same time and so it don't snag the outside coating. You get shot down by the inspector if they see that. That's your protective coating. So you push and you pull and there you go. Here's where the real trick comes in. So uh, it's kind of neat, kind of fun. So, all right, stand by. Here we go, right, here comes the real fishing, okay? For all you, uh, you just stop, man. I know. <laughs> okay, since this one's gonna be a little bit more, let's say crucial, because now we're traveling through two studs. It could be three, four, five studs. And when you're drilling, sometimes you don't know what angle you are and you start to go maybe downhill or uphill and then you miss it over here. So, you know, find yourself a center spot. Let's say, take a measurement off a ceiling or something right there. Let's just say it's, you know, 16 inches for argument's sake. Give a straight edge, a level if you want to. Okay, and then from here, you just, you know, just make sure that we're, we're kind of like right on the money. Just so we know which way to, to guide our bit when we're going through there. Because now we're going through the back stud that's behind there. This one, this one, this one. We're going through four studs now. And here's where the trick comes in. Okay, stand by. Now I'm going to drill this out for you. Try to make your bit as parallel to that line as you can. So you're not drifting if you can see that, okay? See, I look like I'm going, there you go. That looks about right. Here we go. Center of the stud, remember. Pretty close. Let's do it from the other way now. Remember, center of the stud. Look at it. I'm running uphill. No, we want to go even. So it looks like we're just about center of this line as well. We bring it down just a little bit. Looks about right. Here we go. Clean that out with the bit, going back and forth. I can see that uh, I felt it when I went through that it was soft, so I hit that hollow spot. So I hit both uh, both ways through. Now I'll show you the real trick. 
All right, so now comes the trick part. Well, we know we can't go around a really tight 90 like we did our other one. That was really easy. So what I do with this, I, I don't know, foot, foot and a half doesn't hurt anything. I'll gently score the outside sheathing of it. We're really not going to use this tip. Break it open a little bit, see that? Pull it out. Okay, so then I'm going to split two wires here, and I'm going to cut it at an angle. I'm going to cut these other two wires out at an angle with my dull strippers. So I've got a little bit of an angle, and here's what I do. I'm going to tape it off because when we jam this through the, to the wood, it can, get, it can get bound up in there. We want to make it as smooth a transition as possible because this part is going to bend around that 90. But what we're making is a little fishing pole for it. We're going to fish that out of there. All right, so there's my part of the Romex. I'm going to come here. I've got to make the eye for my fishing pole. Put a little tape around it so it just doesn't come loose when, when you grab it. whole idea is not to put a lot of pressure on it, though, either. Because this is just meant to be a quick bush fix, as they say. Okay, so now we've got the end of our wire here. And we've got this uh, part of our Romex. Now, here we go. Here's the other part of the trick. That other piece of ground and that uh, black wire, we're still going to use that. I want to be kind of a sharp eye on it because uh, the closer it is to the end, the more rigid that would be. If you made a big loop like that, it wouldn't be as rigid. So we got our, I'm making, here's my other little hook. And the other one's the pole. All right, so I'm going to show you what this looks like going around a 90. With this, we make sure that we put it in flat because we're going to we're going to fish for it. That other piece of wire, remember we talked about? It's going to come through, and we're going to grab it inside there. Grab on, and we're just going to pull it through. So that's how we do it right here. So I can just put that in gently, and I could look on the other side uh, and uh, see where my. Uh, end of my fish uh, landed <laughs> so I, I see the hole in there I, I could see it right here I mean it's as simple as grabbing it because I saw that, that eye and I'm pushing it just like we did before to get to bend we've got that okay beautiful well we have that end we're almost there now we're still gonna put that little bend in there because otherwise it would go straight into the wood and you're, you're pulling on this and the other wires will come out and they'll grab on and you'll never get it around that 90. So we're gonna put a little subtle bend in that. But same thing here. We're gonna pull and push at the same time, okay? And put, put a little bit more pressure on this one. And look at that. That works the same way. That works the same way for as many studs as you had on either side. If you may have four or five studs, it works the same way. I mean, there's a quick and easy fishing around the corner hack. 